Hi everyone. Um, I'm so glad you came back to um, hang out with me and have another little devotional in um, artsy devotional with the verse Philippians 4 8 um, whatsoever things are true whatsoever things are honest whatsoever things are just whatsoever things are pure whatsoever things are lovely whatsoever things are good report if there be any virtue if there be any praise think on these things and um, the one that we're going to do today is the word pure. Uh, okay, I looked it up in the dictionary. It means um, anything that is not tainted um, or mixed. Uh, it's very simple, faultless, blameless, virgin, chaste. It's, it's, uh, like I would put it, it's 100% pure, you know, it's 100%. There's no, nothing mixed into it, and um, you can count on it being pure. Uh, a lot of times we go into the grocery store and we want to buy something, say, you know, maybe orange juice or something. And um, thinking that we're buying 100% orange juice, but if you turn the bottle around, look at the, um, the label in the back where it tells you what all is in there, you'll find out that they added this and that, uh, this preservative, that preservative, whatever. Um, it's not 100% orange juice, but um, we used to have an orange tree in our backyard and it used to produce delicious, big, juicy oranges. I really miss that tree, but we would take the oranges in the morning, you know, and, and put them right in the juicer and just drink that up. That was pure, pure 100%. <laughs> no questions asked. Um, there's a couple verses um, that I think I might want to journal. Uh, James 3.17 says, The wisdom from above, it's God's wisdom, is first pure. And then it says a couple other things after that, but his God's wisdom is pure. And some of the things that the Bible tells us are pure. First of all, it's God's wisdom, James 3.17. Uh, God's word is pure, and God's commandments are pure. Um, everything that was in the tabernacle during the time of Moses, when the Israel was in the wilderness, um, all the furniture, most of it, and most of the utensils were covered in pure gold. I can't imagine. That must have been just beautiful. Pure gold. <laughs> um, and then when Solomon built the temple later, he covered everything with pure gold, even the walls and the, some of the some of the, um, the whole room <laughs> was covered in pure gold. Everything. I mean, it must, it must have been magnificent. That's why people from all different countries would come just to hear the word of the, the wisdom of Solomon, which came from God, which is, was pure. And the things that he built for God uh, that were covered in pure gold. It's just incredible. Um, in the Beatitudes, Jesus also um, said something. Uh, in Matthew 5, 8, he says, Blessed are the pure in heart, uh, and they, for they shall see God. Um, 
So I'm asking myself, what is pure in heart? Um, it's those with integrity, uh, moral courage, godly character. Um, somebody that you can trust because you know that they don't have alternative motives in whatever they do and say. So someone who is just means what he says and um, says what he means. He's pure. So, um, because the Bible tells us that the heart of man is desperately wicked. And we all have wicked hearts. A question that we might ask is um, if we all have a wicked heart, um, that wickedness is called sin. We all, we are all sinners. And um, so how can any of us fit this um, criteria that um, we are to have a clean heart? Um, the only way that we can is by accepting the Lord's payment. The payment for sin was death. But God loved us so much that he made that payment and he gives us his righteousness. Um, my, my husband is doing, a, did a study on YouTube. I'll try to put the link on below in the um, description box, but he did a study on the armor of God. One thing that God gives us through faith, through our faith in Him, God gives us the, the breastplate of righteousness, which covers our heart. And so that when God sees us, He sees His righteousness, Christ's righteousness. Um, our sins are put away. He's paid for them and gives us his righteousness. Um, so then we can have a pure heart through Christ, through his, through his um, sacrifice for us. And the breastplate of righteousness is held together by the um, belt of truth. And in John, 14 6 it tells us Jesus is the way the truth and the life no man cometh to the Father except through him no man is able to see God except through through Christ you might ask how, how do we do this how, how are we able to see God is through faith in Jesus Christ. He is able to give us that pure heart. It's his heart through the breastplate of righteousness. Um, that we just accept through faith. Nothing we can do to earn this. Um, Jesus did it for us because he loved us. So this is a nice thought to think about. Um, uh, Philippians 3.9 says that we are to be, be found in Christ. We are to be found in Christ, be found in him, not having our righteousness, which is of the law, but the righteousness, which is of, by faith through Christ. I hope this makes it <laughs> a little bit understandable of how we can how we can be able to see God one day. And um it's just by faith. And it's a beautiful it's a beautiful thought. Um and so that's what we're going to that's what we're going to be thinking about this week. 
If you have any questions, please do put them in the comments below. I'll try to answer as best I can. And um, meanwhile, let's, let's do our little art project. My uh, little journal for today. I looked, I'm just trying to think, what can I, what can I paint to, to paint this? And I'm just thinking I'm just gonna make like a collage. Um, my, I just like to make something pretty um, and just keep it botanical because nature, nature is pure. And um, this is the next page in my, in my journal. And you can see that it, it came out pretty good. We have, you know, you can see the leaves here and leaves here and even a flower, a couple flowers. So I'm gonna try to keep it botanical looking. Um, and I think I'm gonna use the verse, um, or blessed is the man or the person, or blessed are they that have a pure heart, for they shall see God. So I'd like to, um, and thinking, of, you know, I'd like to bring out some gold, maybe. Um, so let's hit the table, and I'll show you what I pulled out of my stash, and try to put it together. <laughs> it's going to be a little bit of puzzle making, but it, that's the whole fun of it, right? Okay, I'm going to make a tag to go with our journal page today and um, I wanted to use this rose that I pressed it came out really cute really pretty so and I wanted to preserve it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue this on like that and I'm gonna use some transparency film clear to put right on top of it like that to preserve it so that way it'll stay nice so the first thing I'm going to do is to this is a piece of um, photographic paper I, I found some at a thrift store a lot of people get rid of their extra stash of photographic paper <clears throat> that you use in the printer and uh, I put some stencils on top of it and then just drip down some uh, acrylic ink on top of that and um, it came out pretty nice uh, I let it dry with the stencil on it once it dried then I took the stencil off and um, it comes out really nice so, anyways, let me cut a piece of this. Okay, so now I've got my transparency here. And, uh, so gonna glue this down and you can use white glue or you can use gel medium I'm just gonna use a little bit of this white glue here um, just on the main flower itself want something that is going to dry clear and um, this is a PVA pH natural it, it dries um, clear or you can use um, gel matte medium that also dries clear so to, to put this on now on top I wonder if I should add this, this 
fell off of it. Now for this, I'm gonna use matte medium. I'm gonna paint, a put a little bit on there. doesn't look too good <laughs> but I'm gonna put a book on it I just have to make sure that it's covering my card here covering my card completely and what I'm gonna do is gonna put a heavy book on top to and, and then wait till it's dry and then we'll see, we'll see how that looks. Okay, I um, gave it some time to dry and um, looks pretty good. There might be a little bit in there that still needs to dry, but overall looks good. So then what I'm gonna do is make a little hole here so I can Put a ribbon, a pretty, I have a like silk ribbon that I can put there. I'm gonna make a hole with my hole punch. I think I'm going to put something on the back. Um, let's see, I have, to, I have to think of something. Maybe I'll just put uh, an antique paper that's coffee stained or something on the back for journaling. Find a, let me go find a little something to put back here, okay? Okay, I found this antique paper. So, I'm just gonna cut out the same size. Uh, a glue stick. <laughs> I just remember that's right. I could use a glue stick to probably be easier. My table gets so cluttered so fast. Okay, now let me just punch that hole. need some more glue here. That's what you just have to be careful of. That you have enough glue to, to completely seal it all the way around. Uh, so I'm gonna have to do that, put some glue in there. Where's 
to matte medium. I'll just put some matte medium. And I'll put the books right on top of it again. sealed. Did anybody else? Okay, it's just there. All right, All right. So I'm going to put heavy book on it again and we'll leave it there for a little longer. Okay, okay so the next thing I'm going to do I think since we were talking about and be found in him, not having my own righteousness, I think I, I'm going to have like a pocket to put the, um, the little tag that I just made with the rose. I found this in my scraps. It's, it already has gold paint on it. So I might end up putting more, but for now, it's pretty nice, it's pretty. So I'm gonna put that in here, but it's too wide. I think what I'm gonna do, uh, let me um, trim it down. Trim it down. just going to glue along this edge. So now what am I going to do? <laughs> this is going to be, this is a puzzle. This is a puzzle. I have a little bird feather, but I think I'm going to use that in another page. It's cute. <laughs> Put that over there. All right, I think I'm going to do a little bit of that Venetian plaster technique that I have done before. Let me see. So I've got this crackle paint here just going to do a little bit. Um, I need to find a stencil to, to do it with. I'll be right back. Okay, I decided I took out a few of my little botanic, botanical um, stencils here. I have a few leaves and things. And uh, this would be real pretty, I think, if I have it dangling down like that. I'm gonna do one here, one couple here, and a couple there. Maybe one coming down on this side too. So I'm going to put some crackle paste to make it look like um, an old. Be pretty. I think I'm gonna put some over here too. I don't 
don't know. <laughs> Maybe not so big. As I was um, letting this dry, I noticed um, that there's something I should have done to this before I glued it down. Um, I always like to out, like put a little bit of darkness right on the edge. It just makes it stick out a lot better. And um, this vintage photo kind of, you know, looks nice because it makes it look um, vintagey which is what I'm kind of going after too so the look that I'm going after so and this is made from Ranger distressed oxide vintage photo um, it would have been easier if I did it before I um, before I put put it down but since I already did I think I'll just put a piece of paper here um, Usually I just rub it, you know, the edge against this, but I just use this little brush here. It just gives it a little bit of interest. Oh, that works fine. Makes it, you know, stick out a little better too. difference it makes. And then um, since I got this edge, this edge free, this is what I normally do. Just kind of rub it against the edge. are all dry here so what do I want to do um, I did I did print out my verse blessed are the pure in heart for they shall see God just in different fonts and different sizes uh, to see which would best, best fit right in here a nice thin brush okay
white pearl. Let's see what this looks like. This is for the flowers. It's like a pearly, it's like a pearly white. I mean, sometimes when you when you haven't been using your paints, you need to shake it up first. I think that's what's the problem here. There you go. to balance out my composition here. Little white, pure little white flowers. That's pretty. green the muted green in this uh, latex acrylic ink <laughs> it looks like turquoise doesn't it oh. okay put some of this in here bring out these leaves a little better This is a this is a make believe <laughs> plant. I'm not really I'm not really following a you know <laughs> specific plant. I'm just putting whatever think what I think is feels good. I like this red color in there. I think it'll bring everything out. Besides rosy pink color. Deceive you by the name. See, 
see, it's like a purplish. A bigger brush. making drips it kind of makes it more um, re ethere ethereal <laughs> what do you could call it ethereal This little piece of lace somewhere. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm going to uh, put some of this pink on it. Let's see. This is the right side here. Stain it just a little bit here. about any uh, any that kind of look too blobby-ish. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. All right. Oops. This one. All right. Okay. Get this here. And then I'm, what I think I'm going to do... Oops. Put that there. And I want... Is this showing up good? Okay. What I want to do is put this fern right here. I think that'll look really nice. I think I'm going to put the fern first with the uh, metallic. Hmm, should I use gold or should I use metallic green? Let me use gold because. Uh, This one's a darker one. Let me use this one. Champagne gold. Or this one here. This one might even be darker. I'll look about. No, this one's darker. Okay. It needs to be dark so it'll stand out. Let me put a little bit on my plate here. So that I can use the um, so I can use the um, a sponge. Okay, use a sponge. Okay. All right, let me put this right here. something here. Okay. I'll use this one. Like I've done before. 
for is when you print something, you can't paint over it too much because then start to spread. So what I'm gonna do, okay, so matte medium. Here's my roller. it just over once with just matte medium and that'll seal it Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Mm -hmm. I think I might maybe put a couple more flowers right here. What do you think? Stuff. i put some more white flowers. Because we're talking about the pure in heart, I think I'll maybe make small ones. of lace go? That's a good question. Where did it go? A little piece of lace. Oh, here we go. Just going to glue that on here. I have to put some more. I want to put some butterflies in there. Let's see here. Butterflies. Put this one here. I'm just 
just put maybe two, three at the moment, maybe three. Check on my little rose tab. How does that look? It's like an enchanted forest. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's my um, the little card that we made. You know what, I think I'm gonna put maybe a butterfly or something on it. the edges like I did the other things the same distress these edges here. Right, I was going to put sorry silk on there, but I found this little tassel, gold tassel. I'm going to put that on my little card here. If it fits in our pocket, <laughs> it should fit right in. Yeah, pretty nice. <sighs> okay, so the last finishing touch is whether the edges here. Alright, one more thing. I 
get my little pen out. Just gonna do a little bit of line work to bring out some details. you so much for joining me for this little journey here <laughs> into an enchanted forest <laughs> um, here we go enchanted forest we'll get together soon maybe next week to do the next word until then see you next time bye bye <laughs>